Hi there Pisces, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 3rd of October. Mercury, the planet of communication, has been in your sector of relating for an extended period. By this Friday of this week it will be almost 10 weeks, but then it transits into a deeper, more profound part of your scope. But I do think that this extended time has given you lots of opportunities to interact with people, to think about what they were saying, and try to understand your needs in terms of partnership, uh, communication around relationships, and how other people perceive you in a much clearer way. But although there's been a lot of talking, I think this week is about more coming to terms and comprehending what some of these discussions have really meant. The Sun is also forging a very stable link with Saturn. Saturn's been in the part of your scope for near to a year and a half, which has potentially given you extra responsibilities as far as your work situation is concerned, or perhaps there's been more responsibilities just in your life in general. And it hasn't always been easy for you, and you've been scrutinised much more for the way you go about things than ever before. But this angle between Saturn and the Sun suggests that anything that you've been doing that's building a structure or maintaining one in your situation can really start to take on even greater substance in a very positive way. So if you are doing some renovations, this can be a key week. If you are thinking about getting on the property ladder or leasing a flat, this can also be a pivotal time. But Jupiter and the Sun are in this sector also forging some very interesting links, let's put it that way, with planets and energies in a more, uh, a more principled and idealistic part of your horoscope. Something could happen this week which gives you a bit of a crossroads, a bit of a challenge. It could be a, a financial opportunity, but you need to be sure that you're not going against your best instincts and your deepest core values. If you do, or you're tempted to take a shortcut, it may be something that you will live to regret. When Mars and Jupiter get into a right angle, as they do for the first two weeks of this month, they can give us almost unlimited uh, enthusiasm and a sense that everything will turn out right. But they can also see us miss the details, be overconfident, and almost pile into situations without really scrutinising those details. So slow things down and be determined to get beneath the surface to understand what things really mean, whether it's in a more profound emotional way or anything to do with money, finances, business. If you do this, by the time Mercury merges with Jupiter towards the end of this week, I feel that you could enjoy a true slice of good fortune. There's also the possibility that with Mars forging a great link to Neptune in your sign, that there could be one friend who really lifts your spirits as this week closes. This could be a person who's probably quite fun in some ways, but also quite wise, and their insights can be very helpful to you. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.